Hey, this is Chad. Day three of my Make a Terrain a Day challenge where I'm making a new terrain every day. I'm trying to grow my skill and level design in Unity. Instead of doing another low poly terrain, I'm actually going to use the out of the box terrain that Unity comes with today. This doesn't require any extra plugins. I'm going to use out of the box textures and prefabs, the standard assets, FPS controller to you know, walk around and explore what I create. I had previously created a generic terrain surrounded by mountains in the low poly style, wasn't too fond of that. Yesterday I created the Pirate Island with the Sensi Studios Pirate Assets and I really liked how that ended up looking and so it's given me a little bit of confidence to try to go ahead and create a terrain using Unity's tools. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so I created the new terrain and I felt it was too large. It was a thousand by a thousand meters wide and long. And so I reduced that down to 512 by 512. Um, I then painted the green texture that you can see there, just a, a base, a green grass green texture. I found a really cool brush that's included in the 2019 release of Unity. And so I, I painted that nice elevation changes and then I wanted to rough it up a little bit. And when I found out I wanted to do that, I actually used a variety of different brushes, including the star one. And I felt that the pattern was maybe a little bit too noticeable. So then I, I was messing with both raise the elevation and lower the elevation with that star brush and it actually ended up looking really nicely and then I started to plant some foliage and trees using the mass place mass trees function and I think I added about 400 trees and I was pretty happy with how that looked even though the brushes were quite a bit shorter than the trees and like my other scenes I baked the lighting and once the lighting baked Place the first person controller, and here we go. Do is decrease the size and the uh, tiling of the uh, terrain textures, but Whoa. what? Come on, gotta get over this hill. Yeah. So this is kind of like my first terrain I created in day one. Real just quick and dirty. Not a lot to it. Um, but the tools are different. So I, I went from the low poly terrain engine to what comes out of the box for Unity. And... While the workflow is similar, the tools feel different. Like as I'm painting the textures or I'm painting the elevation changes, I can it I can feel it behave differently. It responds differently to the the brushes and the strokes while you have the mouse down. So I think I, I'll continue with this again tomorrow. Maybe build off this one maybe create a new one and then also throw in some assets uh, let me know what you guys think uh, and any tips or advice you can give me for creating better trains uh, and that's that's that is the whole reason I'm doing this series is to get better at making levels in particular level design especially when I start placing buildings and props and and things around the level I really want to grow my skill in that and I'm just having a difficult time getting into that part of game development because I create such ugly terrains like this. So if you guys can give me any advice I'd appreciate it. Hit like and subscribe to stay updated on all my terrain shenanigans and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.